In terms of our commitment to fuel economy, when you look at our product strategy, there's elements that you might expect, great to drive, great to look at, great stunning interiors, but right up there at the top is fuel economy as a reason to buy. Well, there's two reasons why I personally and I think the entire Ford team is so committed to fuel economy. First and foremost, it's customers. And then secondly, it's important to us because we believe that climate change is an issue and we, Ford, need to be part of the solution. When we went down the path of a uh, commitment to fuel economy, we established a glide path of a year-over-year -year substantial fuel economy improvement. And it's the range of 4 to 5 percent. And uh, the team's been delivering on that commitment, both in uh, the U.S. and in Europe. And once we started that delivery, then we decided to make another commitment, which was fuel economy leadership with every new vehicle. One of the elements of our approach to fuel economy is one of the principles is affordability and high volume. So then when you think about that approach and think about the C-Car and the C-Car platform, two million units, that's a way to provide leadership in fuel economy and affordably to two million customers. Uh, clearly in Europe we will have state-of-the-art diesels which have become a hallmark of the Ford brand. And in other regions of the world, state-of-the-art gasoline engines and even a power shift transmission. And across all of those vehicles, we're bringing electric power steering, again, aimed at fuel efficiency. And that's what will help deliver just exceptional fuel economy at launch. But we recognize that that fuel economy story can't stop at launch. We'll continue to, even in cycle on this vehicle, deliver new fuel economy and improvements with EcoBoost coming to the vehicle and even a battery electric vehicle being provided to provide, if you will, almost the ultimate in fuel efficiency.